Hey guys, it's Ivan. For today's video, I'll be talking about I will be talking about The Lady with an Ermine by Leonardo da Vinci. Kukwentuhan ko kayo habang nagta-timelapse painting tayo. Ito lang yung mga nalalaman ko ah, yung mga nabasa ko, napanood ko sa YouTube. Kaya baka may mga mali akong masabi or kulang na information. Kaya ako din pala ipipaint to dahil ito ang napiling reference picture for our weekly art challenge. Tara na! Before the painting of Mona Lisa, there was a lady with an ermine. It's a painting by Italian artist Leonardo da Vinci circa around 1489 to 1490 and one of the Poland's national treasures. The portrait subject is Cecilia Gallerina, painted at the time when she was the mistress of Ludovico Forza, Duke of Milan and Leonardo was in the Duke's service. Isa to sa mga portraits na babae na pininta ni Leonardo. The other being the Mona Lisa, the portrait of Ginevra de Vinci, and La Belle Ferronier. The painting is inscrutable as it is beautiful. Painted on oil on board, her hair and attire are understated but elegant. Pansin nyo, ganun yung buhok niya pero maganda siya tingnan. The blue spur niya falls from her left shoulder one-sided throat. The thin dark fillet runs across her forehead. Ang apelidong galerina ay isang malaking pamilya, neither wealthy nor noble. Her father served for a time at Doak's court. When her portrait was painted, she was about 16 years old and was renowned for her beauty, scholarship, and poetry. She was married at approximately age of 16, young nobleman of House of Visconti, was issued to annul the marriage in 1487 for undisclosed reason and the request was granted. She became the Duke's mistress and bore him a son. She discovered that Duke was still seeing Gallerani and forced the Duke to end the relationship by having her married to a local count named Bergamino. The inscription of the top left corner of the painting, La Belle Fionnir by Leonardo da Vinci was probably added by a restorer shortly after its arrival in Poland. Na, may napanood ako sa YouTube na originally blue-gray ang background nito, hindi kulay black. And Zartoriski was clearly aware it was a Leonardo, although the painting has never been discussed in print. The painting traveled extensively during the 19th century. During the November uprising in 1830, the 84-year-old Princess Zartoriska rescued it in advance of the invading Russian army, hid it, and sent it to 100 miles south to the Zartoriski Palace. Ang ermine daw ay nagre-reflect din ang aspect ng owner, which is yung babae, si Cecilia. Alam nyo ba bakit ginawa ni Da Vinci ito? Dahil ang mama niya, si Princess Isabella Zartoriska, May siya sa sine yung mama ni Da Vinci. Founder rin siya ng Zartoriski Museum. Bakit kaya may hawak na ermine si Cecilia? Kala ng mga art expert dati ay isang pangkaraniwang decorative element lang ang ermine sa painting na yon. But later they figure out that, that ermine is an allusion to Lodovico Sforza. Why is Lady with an Ermine is so important? Una, isa to sa mga apat na babae na portraits na 
pininta ni Leonardo da Vinci. Isa pa, ang painting na ito ay excellent condition despite the passage of 500 years. And the portrait is a great example of individual Leonardo's painting style and his unique light and shallow crossing. Para sa akin, ang interesting din ng painting na ito dahil yung expression niya, personality, mindset, and beauty. Despite the static pose of model, the picture seems to be very dynamic. It thanks to the illusion of model's rotation and moving her gaze. suggestion kayo, comment down below lang. Huwag kayo mahiya. Uh, anong susunod eh? Don't forget to hit the like and subscribe button. Also, the notification bell to keep you updated. So, thank you for watching. See you on my next video. Bye!